All right, here with Chris McKenna from Vocal. And today we're gonna to talk about several of the new products you guys have going, which cover a pretty wide range and wide variety of end uses. Um, but which one do you wanna start with? Uh, I think we'll probably start with the Blaze 114. So for Vocal for next year, really kind of rounded out the collection and filled in a couple key categories that we actually didn't have a ski in that category or weights with. So for next year, we actually have two new 114 models with the Blaze 114 and the Revolt 114. So really trying to just target all skiers in that category or waist width of skis. Uh, so brand new Blaze 114 story on it is it fits in with the rest of our Blaze family of skis and the whole goal and idea behind Blaze is to have just a really fun, really maneuverable, easy to use, lightweight free ride ski. Uh, so the 114 continues on with that. Although with being 114 underfoot and a true powder ski, it is a little stiffer and a little more stable than the narrow version, the 106. Gotcha. Um, do you know off the top of your head what uh, kind of weights we're talking about with the 114? Yep. Yeah, so it's just under 2,000 grams in the 184 length. So 1,995 grams is their stated weight for that size there. Gotcha. And then uh, another 114 ski. Um, the ski to next to the Blaze 114, uh, I feel like it's fairly rare that we see companies release two models in the same year that are the same width, but they're pretty different. Could you kind of go over the comparison between the two? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So the Blaze is kind of more for your average or everyday skier, somebody that just wants to make powder skiing as fun and easy as possible. And so really how we target that with that ski, a lot of it is in the tip. So it's 114 underfoot, but actually has a really wide tip. So 154 under in the tip. So it just makes flotation super easy. Uh, and then it takes advantage of our 3D radius. So shorter radius underfoot, longer in the tip. So it has a 39 meter tip radius and 184. So that allows it to be super wide, but not catchy or grabby at all, skiing off piste. And then the Revolt 114 is part of our Revolt family of skis, which the story behind that is it's 100% athlete driven. So the skis, it's not just influence from the athletes, but they have complete final say over it. So that's our more traditional pure free ride ski there. So somebody like inspiring to be an athlete or just or your typical hard charger skier. So Crested Butte local, think Little Cottonwood in Utah, Jackson Hole, somebody that skis uh, really keeps it in the fall line, even in super steep terrain. Gotcha. Now the Revolt 121 also developed with your athlete team through that program, but they look fairly different. Um, could you go over like what sort of skier do you think will be drawn to the 114 versus the 121? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So the 121 as kind of twin tip, more progressive mount ski. So if you think of a skier coming to like big mountain or free ride skiing from a more freestyle background, so more kind of drifting turns, landing switch, nose butters, even in the backcountry. Uh, and then the Revolt 114, more that traditional feel, directional ski, flat tail. Uh, so maybe like a free ride world tour athlete that's coming from a race background. Uh, so for us and like the vocal family, I'd be like a skier like Sam Smoothie. Yeah. Gotcha. And then, so a ski that Sam used to ski, the Vocal Confession. I've yeah. heard some people like mention that ski in the booth area when they're looking at the Revolt 114. How good or way far off is that comparison? I guess it depends on which way you're coming at it from. Uh -huh. It's similar, somewhat similar feel, but it the Revolt 114, obviously completely new ski and construction on it. Uh, in radius is totally different. So the confession had our Tetanel band construction. So metal in it and was 117 underfoot, a little wider. The Revolt 114 is just a full wood core construction, no metal in it. Uh, so I think it's similar or fair to put them in a similar category, but I think the Revolt 114 just skis so much nicer than the confession. Gotcha. Yeah, it looked like when I once I saw the rocker profiles, I was like, oh, okay, those yeah. are pretty different skis. Yeah, yeah, and I, I've used the word traditional on the 114, but I'd say it's much more like modern free ski though. Yeah, uh, I think. Than the confession. Yeah, that seems like a, a good way to describe it. Um, and I know 
like we're recording this on a day when it happened to snow a good amount. Good. Our reviewer Dylan Wood out, was out on the 114 this morning, and he's a big fan. So we're looking forward to skiing that more. Uh, do you want to move on to the narrower end of it? Yeah. So the other brand new ski in the lineup for next year is a Secret 102. So that's in our women's family of skis in the Tetanol Frame collection. So it's building off at our Kenja at 88, and then we have a Secret 96. And then for next year, the Secret 102 gets the same updates those skis have gotten the last couple of years. So it has our tailored Tetanol Frame construction, tailored carbon tip, and then also our 3D radius. Gotcha. So goal of all three of those technologies is just keeping a performance in the ski that it's had in the past, but making it a lot more maneuverable, more dynamic, and then tailoring in the flex for each size. So this longer lengths have more metal in it with the tailored T-Nell frame, shorter lengths have a little less metal in it. Gotcha. Yeah, I know uh, our founder, Jonathan Ellsworth, has become a very big fan along with pretty much all of our other reviewers who have tried the new Mantra 102. And I know our female reviewers have been itching to try the new secret. So we're stoked about that. Yeah. Yeah, no, and it has the same updates that our Mantra 102 that we came out with this year has. Uh, it's been super successful for us. Sweet. And oh. Also, adding in Secret 102 is also going to have a 177 length for next year. Gotcha. Uh, what is the the range of size lengths for that ski then, from shortest to longest? Uh, going to be 156, no 177. Gotcha. Or like narrower skis, and go down to a 149. So like Secret 96, Kenja 88. Cool. And then I guess we, we brushed over that, but what are the, the length ranges on the Blaze 114 and Revolt 114? Uh, Blaze 114 goes 176, 184, and then 192. And another cool aspect in that ski is that uh, flex gets progressively stiffer with the length. So the 192 is going to ski noticeably stiffer uh, than the 176. Gotcha. And then... Revolt 114 has similar size curve of 177, 184, and 191 for the top length. Gotcha. Cool. Well, anything else you want to touch on on any of these three skis? Yeah, I think one more super unique char characteristic of the Blaze 114 is it's also our most sustainable ski for next year. So new story on the core of it is our green core. Uh, so the wood core on it is all FSC certified. But then the key differential uh, from the Blaze 106 and Blaze 94, which has our ISO core in it, in the brand new 114, you'll see instead of just one stringer, if you look up top there, where it's kind of translucent, you can see that there's two ISO core stringers, but instead of traditional ISO core foam, uh, it's actually recycled PET plastic. So made from recycled plastic bottles. Gotcha. That's super uh, cool. So it's either the core on it's either all recycled material or or FSC certified wood. So, gotcha. And I mean, talking about top sheets, do you want to go into the background of the Revolt 114s? Yeah, yeah. So another aspect of the whole Revolt collection, not just the 114, is it's 100% athlete driven. Every ski in that model, but then also every year there's an artist that does the graphics for the whole collection. Um, so this year it's actually a Swiss artist, Benjamin Girdle, uh, who does a lot of tattoos. So that's what you'll see in uh, all the designs are tattoo inspired, which I think gives the Revolt collection a super unique look compared to other other series, whether it's Tegenal Frame or Blaze. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the name on the Revolt 114 for the graphic is Reaching for the Stars. Yeah, it definitely pops in the booth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and kind of some of the inspiration on that is that's going to be like the free ride competition ski. So athlete uh, striving for goals or wins. So reaching for the stars there is the inspiration. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to run us through these new products. Um, I know a lot of us are really excited to go test them out and have been hearing good things from some of the attendees, but uh, appreciate you giving us the backstory. Yeah, Luke, thank you so much for having us out here. Always a blast to come to Crested Butte uh, and hopefully get some good powder skiing this afternoon and tomorrow morning. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm.